Hello, this is Michael from the Board Games Chronicle. I have the pleasure today of presenting to you Resist. When I'm creating this material, uh, the Resist game is just about to hit the crowdfunding campaign. And with this video I would like to, to, to show you what's this game about, what's the gameplay, how, how you actually uh, do the moves and how you win the game. Uh, but first and foremost, what's this game about? It is Spain, 1936 and General Franco uh, advances through the Spain and uh, we are facing the Spanish Civil War. Against the army of Franco and civil guard and the police, uh, so-called maquis, so resistance groups, are fighting. Uh, these are the men uh, and women uh, hidden in the mountains of um, Spain, using hit and run tactics and uh, trying to continue the struggle. As we know from the history, in the end, the G General Franco won this war, but the struggle uh, was not not easy for him and, and, and a lot of resistance happened then. How do we play uh, this game? Um, we will be leading the Maquis. Here we have 24 of them. Each of them has a hidden and revealed version. And uh, hidden means that we can play him and a couple of times revealed. You can play only once and he is removed from the game. Uh, we have 24 of them. Uh, when we do the preparation for game, we simply mm, uh, take half of them. So let me take 12. We add three spies to them. The spies actually uh, does not have any effect on the game, other than that simply filling our hand with a card you cannot use. So this will be our hidden deck. Let me move the rule book and scenario book here. So this will be our hidden deck. We'll shuffle it. We'll be playing through a series of missions. Here we have the missions here from the first phase. Air era 1, uh, the invasion of Spain. Era 2, a splintering of the uh, Maquis. And then era 3, hunting the Maquis. Yeah, so actually we will have those three types of miss missions. Each mission will be placed here. We have four of them, and each mission uh, will have some number of enemies who are defending it. Let's take this first mission. Uh, you see uh, to the left four on the rectangular uh, of on the rectangle. Uh, this four on the rectangle means uh, how many enemies will defend this. Five means the defense value of of the mission. Defeat uh, tells us what will happen when we defeat the mission, and also we see that there are three victory points. Uh, the game has couple of um, let's say mm, victory points levels. And you play. What I like ab about it is that you, you play it uh, mission by mission, and you can decide at some moment in time that you would like to stop and you are satisfied with the game. But you are risking because if you fail two missions, you will lose five civilians, or you will draw a, f a full hand of spies, you automatically lose. You are getting zero points. So just let us have a look into this. Uh, yes, this is the rule book. And just let me show you the victory levels. Yeah, so you between 1 and 14 victory points it's a draw. 15 and 18 only when you're getting some minor victory. If you defeat all 10 missions you have an epic victory. And how do we play uh, the game? Uh, the game is played in a couple of phases. Uh, the first phase is planning and during the planning phase we can play uh, w whatever number of maquis we want and associated actions with this phase. Remember, uh, we will sh uh, show it in a moment, each maquis has uh, some, some actions which can be done during planning or usually at, uh, planning or attack. Then, after planning, we uh, choose the mission and we attack this mission. Uh, initially, we don't see the enemies uh, we will be attacking, uh, but when we decide on the mission, then it's being shown. Uh, if we manage to, to, to win the mission or lose 
the first mission here, uh, we go then to the next phase, which is aftermath. During aftermath, we make a decision whether we would like to continue or not, and then we have a recover phase. I think the best way to show how it plays is by simply showing you the uh, game itself. So uh, let us do the rest of the setup. So we actually shuffled those. Those goes to the revealed. Yeah. Here will be our re um, uh, here are the hidden, here are the revealed markings here. Now uh, we shuffled the spies. We have missions. We need to first of all flip them, shuffle, remove four from here, three from here. As you shall see, this game is pretty replayable because uh, you only get to play some of the missions each game. Okay, so now phase 2 goes here. This will be our draw deck for the missions and here we will put all four missions. And uh, we'll need to also put the enemies. Let me flip them. I will zoom in in a moment. Uh, here are the enemies. Uh, let me flip them and shuffle. Let me also shuffle the civilians. So now this is a destroy the bunker. You see, we see that we have two enemies defending this, so we put two enemies here and uh, defend. So when this mission is chosen, immediately choose a Marquis card, not a spy, from your hand and discard it. So we'll have uh, one um, card less during our game. Uh, usually we have five cards, but due to, the actions, uh, due to the actions we can increase or decrease this number. It's only one victory point, pretty easy mission. Then we have destroy the railroad bridge, a much tougher, three enemies to defend and eight defense value. So that would not be such an easy thing. Then we have recon the mountain passes for enemies to defend and five uh, is the defense value. And uh, uh, if we defeat this mission we can flip all enemies at one mission face up. Very nice skill. Okay. And the last mission, uh, remove one spy in your hand from game. Very good. It is intercept the commanding officer for uh, enemies and six value. So, okay, uh, let me just check if we need to do anything else in the setup. Uh, yes, we need to draw the starting hand, so let me do it now. Five cards. Let me flip them. Okay. Okay, so this is our hand. Uh, our hand is good. We don't. Ha we have only one spy, which is not not bad. And uh, yeah, we see we, we have Consuelo, attack strength two uh, hidden and zero revealed. But during the attack mission, we can discard one enemy from this uh, from the particular mission, and gain its attack value. Then we have uh, Sagrario, uh, two. Uh, strength uh, hidden and revealed, but uh, revealed uh, allows to draw two cards from the hidden deck. Very good. Here we have uh, Nicolas attack draw one card from the hidden deck. This is good. And here we have Jacinto. He has a planning action. Uh, and I think in our planning action, because we already start to play, we will play him as a hidden. So. Uh, the left part and it will be adding one to attack but we can also reveal the top three cards of a hidden deck discard any of them and put the rest back in any order this is really good because maybe we'll draw some spy which we would like to discard ah no spies okay uh, we have then the card which allows us to draw one card from the hidden deck so we need to choose appropriate I am a kiss. Okay, that lady we don't want. We will not be revealing Mukis so quickly. This is really interesting. I move an enemy from this mission to a different. This makes things easier. Discard one enemy from this mission also makes things easier. You know what? We will take this guy. 
we'll put him here. So, okay, we played in the planning phase this, and do we want to do anything more? No. So, uh, let us choose this mission um, for the attack. Here we have five strength, uh, we'll have uh, to defend, here we have one, and possibility to discard. Okay, so one of those two ladies has to go, because the special uh, um, conditions of this mission says when this mission is chosen, immediately choose a Marquis card, not a spy from your hand, and discard it. Okay, let me put it here. And because we have chosen it, we are to see the enemies. <coughs> First of all, we have Grant. Defend. You must defeat all Grants before you defeat other enemies. So before we defend, uh, defeat, for example, here, Counter Guerrilla, uh, we need to defend that guy. So he has the strength 1, it's strength 1, and the mission has strength 5. We don't need to um, defeat the enemies those enemies here, we can only defeat the mission, that would be completely okay and enough, but usually if we don't defeat them, something bad will happen. In this case, we'll be drawing the card from the civilian deck and placing this face up in graveyard. Uh, here we have a card, if I remember correctly, uh, one, two, of value 1, 2, 3, and if you have five civilians in this deck, uh, zero, one, two, three, uh, in the graveyard, you lose the game. So what we shall do? First of all, uh, we are playing this guy, also hidden, and we are drawing this card. Uh, the top from the hidden, sorry, okay, to our hand, you remember, we are preparing this. Okay, doc. what can we do in order to win this? The l we have one here, we have two here. If we'd like to um, win this game, we would need to have seven. We don't have so many. And I think we'll need to play somebody as a revealed, yeah? So uh, we will play that guy as a... Uh, hidden and we can discard one of the enemies, so that one. Uh, let me just put it here. So our strength now is 1, 2, 0. Not enough, unfortunately not enough. So we need to play this card as a 4. Draw two cards from the hidden deck. Let's see what we'll get here. Okay, that will be completely enough. Yeah, because we have one, two, zero. So this is two, three, four, five, six, six strength, and we defeat this enemy, and we also defeated the mission. Good, first victory point for us. Pity that we had to use this revealed Maquis. Now we put everything back into the discard pile. Okay. And uh, set up the next mission. We draw it from here. It will be already from era 2. Destroy the supply convoy. Okay, so it has five defenders. Uh, but when we defeat, discard one enemy face up or face down from each other mission. Very good thing. Very good if we manage to defeat it. And uh, believe me, the enemies which we draw in this first mission, uh, they had like strength one. That's not the usual thing. Uh, usually they are much more difficult. Okay, now we draw five cards as our hand. I'm afraid we can have some spies in big numbers. I hope that you guys are st starting to get the feeling about this game. Okay, only one spy, not bad. We have Ramona. Uh, during the plan, as a hidden, look at the top three cards of the recruit deck, put a number on the bottom uh, and the rest back on the top. So we can influence whom we'll be able to recruit from here. Unfortunately, those uh, revealed ones are not fighting at this point in time and we cannot use them. We have Domingo, flip one or two face down enemies at one mission, face up, then discard one of them. Very, very, very good guy. So definitely would like to play him. 
pillar. Flip one or two face down enemies at one mission face up and discard one of them. Both two will li uh, will really help us to to get uh, to smash uh, some of the difficult difficult uh, attacks. Flip all enemies at one mission face up. Hmm. Or discard two enemies from this mission. What I will do? I will start planning. Okay, uh, when we plan, we don't need to choose the mission. This is five defense. This is eight defense. This is seven defense. You see, when when, when you see these numbers, yeah, it's really terrifying. Uh, let me go with this mission. Four five. I think we'll be targeting this. I still don't have to make decisions. We are in the planning phase. Flip one or two face down enemies at one mission and then discard one of them. We'll be flipping here. Okay, so we have engineer increase the defense value of all enemies other than engineers on this mission by one. So for example, that guy, spy master, has three. So definitely we would like to get rid of this guy. Okay, now we will play Pillar and we will do the similar thing and also in this mission for Counter Guerrilla, oh, very strong one and Jailer. Jailer we would like to defeat because mm, he allows us to take uh, the Maquis from the revealed to the hidden so I think we'll take, we will get rid of this Guerrilla and now it's after the planning phase uh, or shall we do uh, no we are still in the planning phase let me let me do one more thing we have one we have zero we need more to defeat this mission we need five and uh, it would be good also to defeat jailer so it would be seven uh, we can live with additional spy although it's not the best Mm -hmm. Okay, doc. I'm not saying that I'm playing this optimally, uh, one hundred percent. I think we'll need Ramona as a revealed in attack. So we choose this mission and we go now to the attack phase. Yes, we go to the attack phase. We play Ramona here and draw a card from the recruit deck and put it in your hand. Okay, so we'll have Manuel. So our strength now is one, zero, three. We have now strength of three. Not enough even to mm, win the mission. Ah, but removing the spy with Manuel would be great. So we'll remove the spy from the game. Now our strength is already five, so we will defend the, defeat the mission. Unfortunately, we cannot get two more points to also defeat the jailer. Yeah, we have three. Uh, we have uh, sorry four here, five. That's all. That's all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this here. We don't want to lose it. So what happens? <coughs> we have uh, in total six. Uh, we defeat the mission but we didn't defeat uh, those guys so we will not get additional uh, additional um, uh, revealed maquis and will not and will get the spy which we just moved away. Let me just see. Uh, we flip all enemies in one mission face up. So which one that would be? I think I would like to see this because it uh, has the largest number of enemies. Yeah, we flip all enemies. Or maybe <coughs> the one which we would like to, to attack. Hmm. Let me go with this. Let's go to our defeated missions and we are taking one more. We'll uh, analyze that in a moment. Still, Era 2 still supplies. Mm, if we uh, if we defend, Marquis cannot be revealed during attack here. Okay, and free enemies defending this. Okay, so.
so we draw a hand we have only two cards left so we will need to shuffle and let's see what we got <coughs> Not bad, only one spy. And we have uh, bidding or reduce, okay. Two as a hidden or revealed, reduced by one with defense value of each enemy with defense value of two or more. Let me see what enemies we have. Counter Guerrilla 4. Radio Operator. This is a tough one. Place a face down enemy on all other missions. We don't want this. Military. Shuffle all hidden markets in play and remove one from the game. Also not good. And we have still eight hero. Whoa! Uh, how to do it? How to do it? Mm, we have now attack... Uh, planning phase, sorry. What we can do in planning career? We will play this guy, because then we can draw one card from the hidden deck, which would help us to defend this, yes. So, um, that would be good. Still, I'm concerned that we might not have... We probably will not uh, manage to do anything to counter Gorilla, but I hope to get the radio operator and military. This is free, we would have... we would need 11. How to get 11? We can have this revealed. I think Consuelo would be our revealed play, because it gives us 4 if we uh, remove counter -gila. So this will give us 4. Mm -hmm. That's something good. Okay, so first of all, let's do the plan. I reveal the top three cards from a hidden deck. Okay. This looks nice. Okay, the question is if we are if if I'm if I have a flipped enemies I can use this. I'm not sure. Okay. Not the best ones. Uh, still, I might miss uh, some mm, some points. Yeah, for this, this will give me four. This is five. Well, it will be tough. Tough call. Uh, whom we can get from here? Okay. Uh, I think we'll take them in that order. And now we go to the uh, choosing the mission. This will be a vet mission, of course. We want to score 8, hopefully 9, 11. Uh, we probably will not have enough to kill the counter guerrilla. Now we have one. Uh, the next thing which we will do is that one. So discard one enemy card as a revealed from this mission and gain attack value. So we just remember, I will put it here. So we have now attack value of 1 and 4. This is 5. 4 is max, so this is really good to play it here. So this is 5. We still need 6. Okay. So we can do it that way. Yes, unfortunately, that way. So this is 4, this is 4, this is 8, 9, 10, 11. That way, those goes to the revealed. This goes to. We defeated that guy, so uh, we will not lose Marquis. We will defeat it with radio operator, so we will not get more enemies. And because we destroyed the railroad bridge, we discard one enemy face up or face down from other missions. So let me just take one each. That's really worth it. And we got, uh, sorry, two points. In total we have four. So as you can see, to get 15, <laughs> we still have some some um, tasks to do, yeah, some job to do. It's not, not easy. But what I love uh, about this game is, you know, this tension. Shall I 
continue or not for now definitely I think we should continue but at some point in time you will be making a conscious decision do ya do I draw uh, for the next mission or end the resistance uh, we decided we go on and this will be mission from Vestil Air Era 2 for defenders I think it will be not surprising if we try to tackle this mission in this turn Okay, uh, this uh, this is still supplies from the train depot. Let's see. First of all, we need to draw. See, I'm not playing too many cards which allow us to recruit new monkeys, which might backfire. And we have not defeated the jailer, which might really backfire at us. Okay, not a bad, not a bad draw. Uh, here. Uh, I am just counting points. One, two, three. We have three points. And remember, if we would like to attack this, Marquis cannot be revealed during the attack phase of the round when this mission is chosen. <coughs> so let's just see if we will get some additional um, stuff from this. Yes, we'll be discarding. Okay, I think we should be uh, we should be fine. So uh, we play this in the plan phase. Flip one or two face down enemies at one mission face up, then discard. Let's try here. Whom do we have here? Engineer. Oh my goodness, we're free. Yes, we definitely want to remove the engineer from here. Nicely done. Now. Uh, How to get this one more point to defeat this mission? At this point in time, we have, we need four, and if we want to, to uh, fight the military, we would need six, and we have only zero here, and we can't have revealed. We have one. Okay, this is good because in attack we can get rid of this military. Mm, we just, we just miss. Just miss one person, uh, one point. See, guys, uh, we don't want to lose this mission. We really don't. But we cannot tackle this, unfortunately. It will need to wait for the next turn. For now, we still have a, a plan. Flip all enemies uh, at one mission face up. Let me do the flip here. Mm. Yes, because we will not manage to get both. We have Grunt, must defeat all Grunts before uh, you defeat other enemies. Okay, and Counter Guerrilla. This should be reasonably fine. We need six points. Okay, but we don't have a Spy in hand. That's, that's a bad thing. Oh my goodness, what to do? What to do? Where to fight? Even with, even with this, you know, uncovered, revealed, I will not get six points. Yes, we have one, two, three, four, five, five. Uh, it seems that we will be defeated. But what we can do? If we go to the attack phase, we can move this counter guerrilla here. Yeah. So at least this move one enemy from this mission to a different mission. Discard one enemy from the mission. Yeah, we fight this mission. So let me discard the grunt. And uh, okay, she also goes here. And we are losing the mission, unfortunately. This is the last mission for us. No points pity but at least we didn't lose any of my keys so now the things will get tougher for us uh, we'll continue of course it's too early to stop mm, this is the era free hunting the maquis uh, we have four defenders okay and let's draw our starting hand 
I hope guys that you already got the feel of the game. I really like it. I really like the tension and all those combinations. What would be the best card, uh, how to play. Oh my goodness, two of them. We have two spies. And if we would like to tackle this mission, it has four defense value. We have counter guerrilla here and military. So this is all in all eight and I can use only revealed ones. Uh, this is plus one for a revealed one, so it doesn't help at all. This has revealed the top three cards from the hidden deck, discard any of them and put the rest back in the other. Doesn't help. Okay. This is good, yeah. This flipping. But with only two, uh, with, with as many as two spies, I'm really thinking uh, it might be uh, the end of our game. I would say, because we will not defeat it and we would need to risk uh, all those high value of 7, 7 points and I'm really not thinking that we can do it. Oh my goodness. Okay. What we have to do, unfortunately, um, I will try to attack this mission and this will be probably uh, the last thing uh, which we will do. Uh, we play here revealed. Uh, look at the top three cards of the hidden deck, discard any of them and put the rest back in the order. Okay, we discard the spy. That guy will allow us uh, to draw two cards from the hidden deck. Yeah, that would be good. And uh, okay, okay, we'll take those two. So, do we have anything in planning phase? Yes, uh, we play this revealed, we discard that guy, and thanks to this, we are getting two more cards. Sorry. We cannot uh, attack here uh, because uh, they need to be revealed. Just thinking whether not to attack here. Mm, this is seven. This is seven, and uh, both are, are really tough. Not to save this one. Okay, I I prefer this because it will allow us to remove one card each. So we attack here. Let's see. Oh my goodness, guys, I think we are done. Let us read. Grant says you must defeat all Grants before you defeat other enemies. When you have guard, you must defeat all guards before you defeat the mission. So in order to get to the mission and to defeat it, we need to defeat Grant and then the two guards. Uh, the military is our s um, smallest problem, let's say so. So this is 7, this is 2, 9, 11, 13. Okay, so far we have 3, 3, 6. Uh, 13 and we have 6. Uh, whom do we have here? Discard or counter guerrilla doesn't help. But moving the enemy mm, will help us, definitely and discarding the enemy will also help us. So this is the way to go. Free, free. Unfortunately that means that we are burning one more Marquis. So he plays attack, discard one enemy from this mission. So we discard the ground. And then we have discard all come uh, we play move an enemy from this mission to a different mission. That one. And thanks to this uh, we can attack the mission. So we have two, three, three, eight, nine. With nine, we remove Grant and we win the mission. By winning, winning the mission, um, we discard one enemy face up or face down from each other mission. So we'll remove here, uh, we have counter gear and military. Okay, we'll remove that one. We'll remove that one, whatever it is, and here we have 
to I will remove him. That those guys go here, those goes here, and we still have military to resolve. And we need uh, actually shuffle all hidden keys in play and remove one from the game. Uh, let me do it that way. Spice will go here. He goes here. And we remove that guy. Pity. A good one. And we remove from the game. Okay. Uh, what shall we do now? That's a very good question. Shall we continue? This seems like a pretty straightforward mission to win and we have only 4 defeats. Let's go! I think this will be our last attempt. 4 defenders here attack the police station. I don't... I'm not sure it... It will end well, but let's try. So, okay, we draw five cards. I just hope it will be, it will not be three spies. Could have been worse. And we definitely will be attacking here. Mm, cannot be revealed. Ah, oh, gosh. That's interesting. Plan. Ignore the effect on the mission that you chose in this round. I think I will play this lady here. This is in planning f uh, phase. And now I'm going to this mission. And I will ignore, simply, this text. Ignore the effects of, on the mission that you have chosen. I'm ignoring this. Yeah, uh, That uh, only the revealed marquis can be played. I hope it will save me. So uh, this is far to defeat. So let me add two more. Um, I can move those guys here, or, or though I will leave them here so I can show you how the civilian decks work. So, uh, this is uh, plus one attack value for each revealed Marquis in place, so this is actually three, this is four, this is five, and we have four here. So, this is defeated, good, and let me show you how the civilian deck works. So, we have counter guerrilla actually survived on purpose, draw a card from that civilian deck and place it face up in the graveyard. So we do it like this. So what we draw? Two civilians, unfortunately, died. Okay, I will stop here, guys. I don't think we have much chances uh, to win. We have just six cards and only three of them are Marquis. So let us study the points. We won five missions. This is three, five, seven, eight, nine points. Well, one might say it could have gone better. Uh, I'm just starting with this game, so so probably will be able to play more optimally in the in the future. Anyhow, this was just a brief brief overview of the resist. A game which pretty soon will be hitting the crowdfunding uh, campaign. This will be the game from Trevor Benjamin, David Thompson and uh, Roger uh, Tankersley. So those three guys will be the authors of this fantastic solo game. As you can see, it has the syndrome of one more turn and it has also the syndrome of one more attempt. I will definitely, after recording this video, I will, will give another try to beat the game. It's it's really, really uh, getting you uh, into this and, and, and making you wanna repeat and repeat and repeat. For today, that's all. If you like this video, please give thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, kindly please subscribe. Thank you and bye for today.